<laughs> Make sure to not hit start streaming. Did you hit that? Nope. Okay, good. Uh, so, hold on. Don't say anything. Be quiet. Okay, it's it seems to be very faint. And then if I hit... Yeah, I... Maybe. Just maybe, having the TV volume on might... That's a little intense. <laughs> might actually help. So if we have it on, like, 18? Not, well, there's going to be a bunch of loud explosions. Ah, oh, God damn it! not this account. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I always do this. I, I don't know. What? I feel like having it maybe in there wouldn't be able to capture both, but... Oh, just to get it out of the way? I, I don't know. It, being able to capture us and the TV. Oh, it, it works out fine. Um, it's got left and right speakers. Oh my god. So, hmm? Having issues. Yeah. Yeah, we just got out of the rain. So, that's, that's fun. Yeah, that, I do, I think I probably need a more stable thing, because that rack, bless its soul, it served me well, but... <laughs> It is interesting when you have something that you very much treasure as being like a valuable, a valuable thing. Um, I wonder, since it's not very hot out, what if I put a blanket over my, like, hands? So, and then it'll muffle the controller sounds. <laughs> I did this. Great idea, honey. High tech. Yeah, yeah I, I did this when the recording the, the audio is where I'm like, I put a blanket under it so then it wouldn't, because I was like gaming a lot of the time mm -hmm. and uh, those. It's probably not going to make any sense, but that's okay. Um, trying to match. Oh, yeah, that you are very wet. Yeah. Fun. Rain is so great. It is so great. I thought I bought these. Oh, am I... Hmm. Stop. I, I changed accounts. Get out. Leave. <laughs> Air. No. It's it's beautiful. That's what it is. There's no, there's no issue here. The little blue line in the Titanfall 2 thing is meant to signify a titan dropping to earth. That's a wonderful fact, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> um, fine, oh, Madge. You switch up so quickly. It's supposed to represent a titan falling to earth. You're welcome. <laughs> You're dead to me. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you, you can't really hear the controller things. The TV is louder than the controller things. That's true. Yeah. I... I quite high tech <laughs> it, hey it's working it's, oh i'm quite. sorry for judging you what is, what, what is my desk too high tech for you <laughs> it just it's there doing nothing yeah it's perfectly high tech does it yeah your computer's pretty high tech too you know what? it's how not are you coughing supposed... on its sit then it's beautiful <laughs> how, how are you supposed to muffle controller sounds i wonder i, I guess it's just like there's certain types the high tech of... mics they'll mm. they'll probably take that audio out from you or um what titan do i want Specific. Yeah, like, that's my best guess, and I'm pretty sure that's how they do it. I want Ion. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, wow. I haven't done anything on her. I, that might be a little too loud. 11? Oh, does it? Oh, hey, it doesn't capture the, the volume thing. That's kind of good. Does it? Oh, nice. Yeah, it doesn't, it's just sort of like it randomly gets louder and quieter. I don't know why I keep checking this. As a kid, it was it was always kind of dis uh, dis uh, like, it felt bad that you didn't have uh, messages from people because some people had a bunch of messages, girls, um, uh -huh. and then other people just didn't because Xbox is where you exper experiment with like wanting to have a girlfriend, but not being able to, because everyone okay. has the power of just being able to to cycle through thousands and thousands of humans like someone going through a pack of cigarettes. Like, we, everyone on Xbox has the luxury to just burn through people. Because like, you can meet a thousand people and have them hate your guts, and there is an inexhaustible amount of people that will still, um, that, that, that you can still talk to and still make friends with. The hell that you can marry, you know? Yeah. That's a little, it's a little unrealistic. There, there's probably about a hundred Xbox marriages that worked out ever. But, <laughs> frankly, that, those would be awesome marriages. Imagine if your parents met on Xbox. Oh, oh god, no. <laughs> That'd be great. That would not be great for me. Really? Not not in my case with my parents. I think, yeah. I think it'd be an improvement, frankly. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no. No, really? Yeah. How did they? Oh, it was just high school? Yeah, they were through high school. They grew up in the same place, Wee! basically. Ah. Uh. But, damn it, I had something I was going to say. Oh, I never, I was never sad about having messages. I was actually quite happy. I was like, oh, yes, it's totally clean. Like, I have friends 
but none of us have messaged each other basically ever mm. on this. It's really yeah. you, you like that. Yeah, I like oh, it so much. Oh, no wonder much. you liked uh, doing, uh, recording things with Charles for memories. Yeah. Because for me, it was like, my dad's like, you should keep a journal. And I'm like, I mean, I kind of have that just in the form of Xbox messages. Mm. And then, during my little my fun little eighth grade phase, I spent eight hours straight deleting every message I ever sent on Xbox. Oh, that's dandy. Eight hours, I, no, I was doing nothing. I was eight hours in a dark room deleting every message I did on I, 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 I was like your dad, but I was eighth grade... I was an eighth grader and stupid, opposed to a man with kids. <laughs> so I, you know, I can afford my my stupid little phase. He he had less of an excuse. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He he, since he had me so early, he never got to be a kid. So that's why he was like that. I mean, that's I guess that's not an excuse, but mentally, that's why he was. Hmm. He like tried he's to. A, he he's tried a late to, bloomer. He tried to keep on. Uh, like he, he tried holding on to his early twenties. Because, oh. like, I mean, it was, that was kind of okay for a 20-year-old to act, but just, like, not with a child. Yeah, well, so, I, I, I get that uh, for some people, but then other people I really don't like when they do that, where there, there are these people talking about, like, I had kids early, and it's like, I'll, I'll have time to go out and be 20 when I'm 36, and, like, health-wise, when you're 36, you have four years of being, like, pretty damn healthy. Mm. Oh, wow, is the wave of MV- Damn, I got all four. Nice. You're, you're pretty healthy, so you can... You now have so much more money, so much more opportunity. You, you you don't have to think about settling down. You just... You get to party as much as you want. Um, so you can still have that sort of fun stuff in your life, but... Um, my brain is elsewhere. What do I want? I don't know what I want. Amp battery? Maybe. Nah, I'll keep the money. See what I do with it later. Hmm. Um, anyway, but... Yeah, some people that, like, they, they try and hold on to their 20s while they have a kid. The Kinks wrote a song about that. That was really, really good. It's called Two Sisters, mm. where this wife wants to act like her sister, who has, like, you know, smart young friends. They're very pretty, and yet she's at home with her sisters. So she, instead of cleaning her dirty dishes, she she throws them away. Mm. She's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put my kids in daycare, and I'm going to have a night to myself. And then uh, she, like, sort of sees her, her kids as she's putting them in daycare, and she looks at it. And then she's like, no, I'm better off than my sister. I realize this now that it's like, it looks nice, but, but actually this, this life is more fulfilling. I have, you know, I have, I have these two children. Um, my dad loves that song and, and I think it's a great song. Um, Whee! bam. <laughs> I like how he shoots the center of him. Get what? I was, I was about to judge you and say, oh, you sound like you're so, so like, you sound so petite and happy when you were brutally murdering someone. <laughs> but, like, I play Skyrim and smash someone's face in, and I go, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Speaking of, I was watching a video that I think you'd love. It was uh, called Where Do Where Do Hyrule Rivers Go? And it, huh? was, it was going over Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom and the water system. And mm. it's like, where are these rivers going, and where do they start? Which is a great question. Yeah. Um... And it was like, where does all this water come from? And he found that the rivers were all connected and that they dumped off into two areas. One into the, uh, like the Great Lake yeah. of Hyrule. And then mm. the other one was into um, a, a, there's this sort of spoilers, which I, over Christmas, I badly want to see you play Tears of the Kingdom. Uh-huh. Like, I, I just want to sit in your bed, hug your dog, hug you. Play to watch you play Tears of the Kingdom and then walk home in the snowy nights. That, oh, it's gonna be my jam. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, but in any case, you'll eventually find that. But there's a giant whirlpool that is emptying water into the depths. Mm. Um, and it's also showing that it's like in the next game, it's likely that this area is going to completely collapse and make a giant lake, and that there's not going to be much water left in Hyrule because it'll just go into filling the depths. And it's like, whoa. So maybe in the next Zelda game is gonna it's sort of gonna focus on hydrophysics in a way, mm. but it's gonna have underwater elements, and that Link will be swimming mm. um, <gasps> in the depths. That'd be awesome. Yeah, though my idea was because people are like, I this is meant to be a trilogy, but please don't tell me that we're gonna do a third game of this, and they're probably not. It, it was it's like I guess it's a fifty fifty chance of them doing it, mm. but I think it's meant to be um, the same thing as. 
uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I think that's what they're trying to do with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Mm. Is have that, that duo thing. And then the next system will have the next new Zelda game. I see. Um, but I don't know. But my thought was that what they should do is instead of making the depths filled with monsters and stuff, is that since Link is clearing it all out, what they should do is they should uh, really increase their increase their focus on flying vehicles. I just stepped into that. Whoops. Um, really increase their focus on flying vehicles and then make the uh, the overworld of Hyrule covered in the in the Ganon goo. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Ganon goo. <laughs> um, um, and then have the depths be the safe place. I would describe it as acid. Like... Or tar, you know, Ganon's, glowy tar. Ganon's goo. <laughs> no. That, yes. It's not gonna catch on. Uh, it's already caught on. It's already caught Frankly, on. Frankly, you need to get with the times. <laughs> I, so, you see that bar, that little blue thing of health that I have? I have no glasses, so sure. Uh, why do you never put on your glasses? Because <laughs> I put them down. I don't know where they are anymore because someone stole them. Oh, yeah, you took them. It's uh, This isn't my responsibility. Yeah, I know. I'm blaming you still. Oh, well, all right, then. <laughs> um, oh, I actually, there was something I heard the, the other day. Um, did you know? Uh, I... <laughs> I was really going to ask you, and then I realized. <laughs> no, please. Where that's from is there's a thing in Jesse's work. But it's just a thing on the wall that says, Did you know? And there's no evidence <laughs> anywhere else of of what's meant to be there, or like a poster that got ripped down, or, or some quote. It's just like, Did you know? On the wall! And there's it's something painted. so funny about n- nothing else, just like, Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know, did I? <laughs> Do I? It's really... It, it frankly shocks a man to his core once he thinks about it, but if you if you don't focus on it too much, it, you 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 end up being okay. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I was just I was just curious yeah. if you knew. <laughs> also, management. Uh, uh, Cynthia put up uh, a sign, and she's like, "From management, anyone who eats food before paying for it on work will is considered theft." And she's like, "That's mostly for fauna. It's not for you, Jesse. Uh, <laughs> because whenever I eat food." It's the fries that are considered bad, but they're not bad at all. They're just, mm. like, crappy customers will go, it's not, it's not burning my tongue. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very true. Like, basically. I get that with Slice or 20 Pizza where I'm like, this is only warm. <laughs> Which, when it's smoking hot, I also don't like it. I'm, I'm impossible to please. <laughs> Which, this isn't A little true. bit. No. Hmm. <laughs> I, I'm all, I, I. I, I'm very easy to please. It's just that I like complaining. I see. So. Yeah, it's just, well, I like it. Usually, I, I didn't like it that it was hot this time. I was like, I'm always happy that it's warm when it comes, because then, like, it's not scalding hot, and then I can stuff my face with pizza. Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you f***ed up that pizza today. <laughs> my God. <laughs> That's... I wonder if I can include that photo in editing somehow. No. I could make it the thumbnail, but... <laughs> Why would you? The, the, I, the world needs to see the gloriousness in which your pizza eating contains. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I wish YouTube had a, had a built-in editing thing, which I don't... They don't really. No, they don't, but there's easy ways to edit. Yeah, but it's effort. <laughs> it's effort. God, for, for wanting this so much, you... Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, ah, man, well, like, no, it's, it's cuz I'm, I'm sort of comparing it to this. It's like I could keep doing that. Like the the payoff for me putting the photo in is someone looks at it and they go, "Huh." You know? Mm-hmm. Well, it's like I could just spend that time doing another one of these. So, sure. It's it's it, like it's effort without much payoff. Is, this is, is why my you love me though. You 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 want to edit it and put the pizza image in? No. Yeah, but exactly. I'll do, I'll do other things. Okay. I'll do other things. Yeah, I know you will. You're nice. Am I, though? Yes. Okay. Why are you doubting yourself? <laughs> Why am I? Like, are you, did you really just ask that question? Yeah, it's like, oh, I love you. It's like, but should you, though? It's like, <laughs> I, I don't fucking know. You tell me. What are you hiding? <laughs> okay. Oh, look at him. He's running. He's about to die. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he did turn around as if, like, I'll stop him. <laughs> Wee. This is my favorite. You just shooting their ow i'm also bad with the timing but i i oh damn i forgot that takes energy 
you can uh, you can throw their weapons back at them. So you shooting bullets? Thanks. Pew. Ow. Who is that? Oh jeez. Oh, it's a it's a god it's a damn dude. Ugh. Hey, buddy. Shoot me. Shoot me. I dare you. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. <laughs> Just no one was saying anything. Reaction. Ah, no, wait, I'm trapped. No, no. <laughs> I have all of the health. I'm rich with health. I'm flush with, yeah, I don't, I think I have to, I think I have to eject. I don't know if I'm going to be able to preserve this Titan the whole time. Mm. But I can certainly try. Nope, That's nope. That's one of the things you can do. Yeah. I, I listened to Cashmere today. That was pretty, go that was pretty awesome. I keep mixing up the album name Physical Graffiti with just the song Cashmere. Like, they're kind of one and the same in my mind. I didn't do it that time, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, Cashmere, it's great. It's like, no, it's physical graffiti. <laughs> Die! I'm glad. What was the album that you liked? What was that called? I've completely forgotten. Well, then, it was something, maybe Dream? No, no. Army Dreamers is a song. Oh. Then, uh... I thought oh, it was I can't album. believe, I remember, no. Um, I remember... I, oh, I did it. Look, I kept the health. <laughs> Uh, I remember seeing it and then being like, oh, I like that name, and then forgetting it, because I, I think I got distracted with the fact I looked at her other songs, and I was like, I don't think I actually, like, like Kate Bush, but she- Wait a minute. What? Why didn't I eject? There's no reason to keep my Titan and waste all the money on batteries. Well, I'm sorry? Sorry, I'm just being stupid. Please go on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was, I was like, oh- I don't really have any other artists that have made many songs that I like. Mm. So I don't think I necessarily like Kate Bush. Insane I mean, her Clown songs Posse? are... Uh, no, that's the first... Well, no. Ah, okay. um, I don't genuinely like their music, but I do... <laughs> what, like, you, you're doing it phony? Just to, like, what do you mean, not genuinely? I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I do like it, but it's not the type of music that... I don't know how to word it, word it speaks to me, I guess. It's just filler it's like, music. Uh, so, like, instrumental tracks? Not instrumental. Because they don't speak to you? <laughs> We're soaking wet. <laughs> oh, my God. Some guy gave Wait, me a battery. not you. What are you talking about? Well, no, you, uh, you laid on me, and I'm wet because of it. And don't feel bad. It was a. Uh, it was intentional. I'm like, I can. We can share the burden. No, he would share the burden. Yeah, I, I like, that doesn't share the burden. It just, I'm just well, it's not like the water. It's not like the water comes out of thin air. <laughs> it's like this. The, the water from your shirt went to my shirt, so now you have less water. Yeah, it doesn't help too much though. I know, but it helps a little bit. We're sharing the burden. Okay, you keep telling yourself that. I am. <laughs> but yeah. um... Insane Clown Posse, like, I do actually genuinely like, like, they're very, very vulgar, but one of their songs, um, To Catch a Predator is just about, ow, ow. well, basically catching children predators and... Raping just, them? No. <laughs> no. I think, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, it's just, like, gra uh... Vo they describe in vulgar ways how badly they hurt them. Ah. Uh, um, that's an interesting and, idea for a song. And then, um, they, they're talking about, what was it? Um, Crap. Like, I think, what, to put one of the lines lightly is just saying how people think it's so wrong for them to be dead, but then, like, once it's your kid, you want them dead. And he's like, that's why mm. I'm doing it. Um, huh. Yeah, I don't think many people, uh, the, so my gripe with that is I don't think many people are like, ah, oh, killing child predators, how could you? Yeah. I don't know, I Wait. think there is... Ah! <laughs> oh, no, I hit it three times and you saw it! You saw it! You didn't see it, because it's sort of hard to know where it is. But you saw it! Okay, I'm Did... sure I'm a witness. I'm a witness who has no idea what's going on. What are you, the American court system? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to support you, and now I'm getting bad. It's, 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 what do you want from me? You're getting bat? I don't know. Backhanded or something. <laughs> or something. The, the filet mignon karate chop? Wait, that's that's a food. <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you that I saw a bat in Pennsylvania? No, no. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, wait a minute. Are those Ice Age rhinos gay? 
<laughs> no, 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 I'm serious though. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. Oh my god! That... You're top. No, no, no. No, that was before woke movies though. I. Are they gay? I know, but they seem gay. <laughs> It's just so funny because we watched that yesterday and that's occurring to you now. Like, wait, are did, they gay? You knew they were gay and you didn't tell me? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of thought. How it could you? <laughs> oh, whoa. Hello. But the thing, the thing is, it's just like you're talking about something completely different. And mm-hmm. then your mind, like in the back of your head, it just throws at you like, are these rhinos gay? Well, no. <laughs> when, when, when the secrets to the universe are being presented to you, it's not like you finish your stupid story about bats in Pennsylvania. <laughs> well, like, the like, imagine you're like, oh, what was I going to say? And the, the thing that you were going to say is the meaning of life. It's like, no, you, you got to you gotta say it. It, it can't wait. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. That's the equivalent of gay rhinos, the meaning of life. <laughs> well, no, it's not the equivalent. It's like, it's essentially, wow, I just crushed him. <laughs> it's essentially the same thing. Anyway, well, were they gay though? I don't know. They could have been. Huh. Not... I'm pro gay rhinos. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm okay, a little more you... for lesbians in movie. Like when I see two gay men, I'm like I really. You are, you're a guy. Well, no, like whenever I see two gay men, well, it's not like I find lesbians hot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I find I find finding lesbians hot to be kind of gross. I'm like, n- no, that's. It's like it's like seeing a uh, a man and a woman kissing in a very like in like in Titanic and just being like, mm, look at the hips on Rose. It's like eh, it's kind of gross. It but is. sort of seeing uh, seeing a woman that is sexy that happens to be a lesbian, I'm like, all right. It's it's the it's the adding in of an additional person that makes it gross for me. I I see. Yeah. Um. Was it? Oh right, gay rhinos. Um. <laughs> gay rhinos. No, but they were hot. Or well. <coughs> I might be portraying a little too much. Um, You're exposing yourself a little too hard. Oh, who said I was hard? <laughs> oh my god. You are putting words in my mouth. <laughs> and you're not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Finish now, the gay rhino story. From, <laughs> from what I remember, I think we were having a fairly normal conversation about two minutes ago. Um, well, no, they, they seem gay, though. That's all I'm saying. They could be gay. They could not be gay. Who knows? They could not be gay. Maybe. Maybe not. Do you think there's like a college course I could take on this? No. Just curious. (laughs) Um. (laughs) You could probably find one in some weird dude's basement. (laughs) A college course? (laughs) Wait, no. I died. When did I die? You, the Titan. No, died in the Titan. Uh, Really? Oh, right, when I was yelling about the game being unfair to me. That's all the time. That's yeah. a very, that's a yeah, very a non... <laughs> I never pointed out, you know, because I don't want to be too mean. That's, but... that's like, the the Game Grumps. It's like, there's a hilarious moment where um, Aaron was saying, like, yeah, I, I don't go off games. It's like, oh, it's 3D Zelda, the one that I hate. Um, and Dan's like, okay, so we've narrowed it down to seven. And, and they started laughing because it's actually true. It's like... There's only like ten 3D Zeldas, and he hates seven of them. <laughs> um, at least I, it's at least five, I think, or I think five is a reasonable estimate. Um, but there I was, sitting on a couch in Pennsylvania, um, calling. Oh, well, we finally got there. Y- yes. Um, calling, and then I um, we just started having a conversation, and then above me I see a black thing. I'm like, what? And then I'm like, uh, hold on, I'll call you back. And uh, no, 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 actually, I saw a black thing. I'm like, what? And I sort of stand up. And then it starts swirling around the room. And I'm like, oh, oh my shit. gosh, it's a bird. Uh- um, <clears throat> and I'm like, I, I'll call you back. Um, that, wow, I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> There's ticks, and I almost did it again. Um, t- stop it. Stop being ticks. I don't like you. Um. I'm like, oh, crap, I'll call you back. So then I, like, I investigated. Then this thing just kept swirling around me. Um, and I'm like, uh, okay. So my plan was just to lock off that area of the house because it was, like, 1030, I think. Mm-hmm. It was pretty late. Um, I was going to lock off that area of the house, and then I was going to let, uh, my, 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 what, what is an aunt and uncle called? Your, your relative? Your, I guess they're your relatives, but, like. Your your deluxe cousins. Your deluxe cousins. Yeah, your your senior cousins. Like the the prequel, the cousins. No. Yeah, they're like prequel cousins, right? Only upper 
Upper cousins. Upper cousins. Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's not a bad way of putting it, though. I mean, I guess it's a bad way of putting it, but it's not incorrect. They are upper cousins. Um, but anyway, I'm like, okay, I'll let them know. And then I let them know, and then as I'm, like, sit, sitting in my bed, I hear them walking up. I'm like, oh! Okay, I guess we're doing this now. And I filmed it, and then we had to, we did, like, get the bat out. And the upper part of their house is, like, very scary. Huh. No, well, not that it's... Like, it's not scary if you needed to find something. Like, hey, go go find this CD. It's just sitting on the table in this room. It's, it, you could do it. But, like, if someone was upstairs, because they, it's a, it's a five-layer house, I think. One, oh. two, three. It's four. A four-layer house. I guess five if you count the sort of the dip in the yard, but not really. Um, so, if, if someone was upstairs in the attic or on, on the third floor, um, then it would be kind of scary if you were on, like, the second floor. But, uh, well, this is the part where I blow up. There we go. Oh, didn't have to yell, yell, yell at the game this time. Immaculate. Beautiful. They're both dead. Crap, he's alive. Um, so I messaged them. They came upstairs. And then we were in the upstairs of their house. And I we had our phone flashlights. And I was, like, looking around this room. And their room, since there's so many random objects that they inherited in the house, there's just, like, rooms with it's filled with nothing but chairs. Or one of the rooms has three bathtubs and a bunch of old clothes in it. Okay. Because uh, they, they have to sort of like sort all, out all the garbage that they got. And a lot of it's good stuff. Like they gave my dad a um, a, a street legal vinyl by Bob Dylan. And that's a, that's a great find. Hmm. It, my favorite song is on there. Um, so that's that's why we have that vinyl. Hmm. Oh my, ugh, stop it. No, no. Damn it. Damn, ugh. Whatever. Um, anyway. So, and I also, I think the funny part was that they, they they got three copies of Street Legal on vinyl. So, maybe the guy had dementia and he's like, I want I want to own this album. It's got Is Your Love in Vain on it. And he just kept buying it. It would be funny if you were to, we worked at a record store and you saw this guy, he, he came in like once every two or three months and he just kept buying Street Legal by Bob Dylan. It's like, I mean, I guess I'll keep selling it to him, but what is his deal? God, if I was ever really rich, I would f I would find, like, some. You have a lot of if I was really rich. I meaning I should thanks. get really rich, and then we'd be in business. Um, if I was really rich, I'd find some record store that owns a bunch of the same copy of a of a record, um, or or a CD. There actually is one um, where I'm like, do you want to listen to, like, Ways by Roy R Roy Orbertson? I said this to my dad, and he, he said it looks like no one did because it was like. 12 copies stacked on top of each other. Mm. It's like, who... Where do you find 12 copies of this? And it's like, I guess it's a bad album? Um, which I don't think it is. It, 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 I don't remember what it was called. Um, it wasn't what I said, but it was something like that. So I'd find some store with a bunch of the copies of the same thing, and then I would go in, and then every month or so, I would just buy another one of those copies, and mm. they'd ask, like, how you doing, man? I'm like, fine like i'd act really weird about them so that we wouldn't develop a relationship and i would just be a weird guy that came in and <laughs> actually hell those cds are a dollar i could do that now you could do that now i don't i don't need to be rich no, <laughs> no you, you don't need to do that now because if i give you money that's not where it's going <laughs> i'll just pretend i'm like yeah i went to slice for 20 it was amazing in reality i went there once and just took a bunch of photos to, like if I get, like I, I sat there for seven, six hours so it looks like the time of day changed in reality it's all going into that how you're like i have the best your plans lie. you're planning your lie with me <laughs> so great thanks glad i got a rub on the head for it are we done yeah we won oh i think my blanket worked for the controller and that's great. Hey, you haven't been here now. No. It's not <gasps> as aggressive. Yeah, I um, I finished the game with two thousand dollars. Oops. Um. Wow, turret strategist, what a pathetic thing to get. I talked a lot in this one. Yeah. How's it going? Pretty good. Thanks. Excuse me. Ah, lovely stuff. All right. Well. Is that it? Yep, that is it. Oh, <laughs> I got the bottom of the scoreboard. Oh, that's fun. It is pretty fun. All right, bye.